Hi everyone, it's Lauren J. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. I like to do get ready with me style videos using products that are new, new to me or just need a little bit more love in my collection. Today I am going to use products that need a little bit more love in my collection and we're going to talk about a new capsule collection from Chanel because that's what I want to do today. So if you're interested in that, please keep watching. <sighs> not gonna lie guys, I feel real trash today. <laughs> real trash. I did not sleep last night. I am having one of those times where my face is sweating and yet I feel like I'm freezing on the inside. So my body's doing all kinds of weird things. And um, when I woke up this morning, it was nice and sunny out for about a half an hour and then the clouds rolled in and it's been threatening to rain all day so it's afternoon and i haven't done much so i wasn't even going to do this but i figured i would just get on camera and do my makeup and actually just do something today so let's talk about coco neige <laughs> we're going to be going back to the cinderella palette for right now because the new beauty and the beast collection just came out and i didn't buy it if you saw my last video you know why um but yeah this one came out and it's still beautiful it's still blinding <laughs> and it's still usable it's still all the colors that I really want to use right now and I thought since I'm going to talk be talking about a winter collection that I would do kind of a nice blue look. So Coco Neige um, that just dropped recently and it has Lily Rose Depp as the uh, sort of face of it. The campaign is very moody. It's all very much Lily Rose Depp after hours in an ice skating rink. I don't know it's it's interesting. Um, but anyway, I, I wanted to talk about the looks because it's a very sort of limited collection. They call it a capsule collection. I don't really know why. Um, it's They've been doing this for two or three years now. They do this in the Cocoa Beach in the summer. Um, and so this is sort of like their snow bunny collection. So like, you know, if you're skiing in the Alps as opposed to like Cocoa Beach, which is like when you're on the Mediterranean and you stop at Saint-Tropez, you know, it's it's very much for, for people who have much more money than I do. And uh, that's fine, but it's I still want to take a look at some of the looks because some of this stuff is like pretty cute and some of it is just like, nah, -uh, no, no ma'am, mm, no, thank you. So I've already done my eyebrows and I have done an eyeshadow primer. So what do I need to do next? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Stick in Vanilla Kiss. So the first look that I want to point out that is just really up my alley and just really not the most fashion forward look, but just very practical, sort of, for Chanel, um, is look number 30 from Coco Neige. And it is basically jeans and a pullover and some fuzzy shoes <laughs> um it's just in the she's carrying a bag and it's just so nice and practical and the pullover I really really like they've got it in about I think two colors they might have more it's this beautiful like creamy white color with these little sort of nubs and raised knitting on it and it looks really comfy really cozy they also have a version that's in camel and that also looks really really pretty i think the necks might be a little bit different this one looks like a mock neck the other one i think has maybe a shorter neck but it could just be the same mock neck at a different angle um it's just really cute and really comfy cozy and i really like it they also did a cardigan in this um style which is also really nice and comfy cozy it's got a nice tie waist and it just looks really just sumptuous and lovely very 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 much like you're at a ski lodge you know a very very expensive ski lodge where you know you you have about 10 servants one is um one is you know stoking the fire for you one is serving you hot chocolate and champagne at the same time the other one's topping off the caviar in the background you know it's it's very you know very luxe it is about thirty one hundred dollars for a pullover and then you have these fun little booties 
on the bottom here and these are just so adorable they're not really my style because they've got a shirling lambskin on it and they have these in white and black and the black has the white shearling around it um, and the white is just all white and they're both really really cute i love booties i you know in the late aughts booties were a huge thing and i do kind of miss them they are very impractical but i think they're super cute these have a nice little block heel on them it's about two or three inches and they have obviously have the little cc's in patent leather and they just have this little like fluff coming out you know of the feet and i don't know that i would like super love the fluff but i think with the look it really looks really cute and it looks like the pants that they paired it with you can either like wear leggings with it which in a lot of these looks they have leggings and they just kind of poof out at the ankles and then some of the pants just kind of cover them up so you don't really see it and i like that and they have these little zippers on the back with the little cc logos very cute in the silver and those are uh 1675 dollars for those for those booties and um okay okay all right yep mm -hmm. there is a pair of jeans with this look now there's a couple of pairs of jeans or more than a couple of pairs of jeans in this collection one sort of has the cc print all over it one is kind of more normal looking with like a big fuzzy patch on the butt um not on the butt but like on the on the hip um, where the belt loop goes and then you've got this uh, this one pair and I haven't been able to figure out like one has kind of the fuzzy butt patch and one doesn't and one is in black and one is in blue and but they have the chain detail on it and I love that like it is very much um, the Coco Chanel logo without being too logo heavy um, without being super obvious because the chain is kind of one of those you know signifiers one of those codes of the house that you know Coco Chanel made so indelible to her brand and I just love that it's got like it's like piping but with the chain that you have you know on the bag uh, of almost every Chanel bag love the leather and metal chain I love that detail um, I recently bought a mini bag one of the reasons I bought the bag is because the chain and the leather together are just so beautiful when you cross body it. It just looks so elegant. And yeah, I just, I love that detail. There's a couple of pieces that have come out with that detail on them. Well, more than a couple, but like that I have picked out. And there was one, and it's not from this collection, but it was a like a cropped pullover with like a little um strap right here that is with the chain and leather detail and then it had like a little cc right here it was really really cute i can't remember what collection it was from but just adorable if it was like a longer shirt and not a crop top it would be something that i would be like absolutely lusting over but of course everything's a crop top these days so this is where we are um and that's fine but yeah these jeans and they're four thousand dollars so there's that. Look number 22 is also really, really nice. I don't care for the bodysuit, like the print on the bodysuit. It's a little bit Versace for me, but the, the booties and the wide pants and the jacket are amazing. I don't also, like, I don't really care for the sunglasses in this collection either, but eh. I really just love the silhouette of that look 22. It's really cute. And there's look 18, Oof, look 18 with this beautiful, the cut of this jacket is just absolutely stunning. Again, you've got the patent leather booties with the shearling coming out. You've got a really nice cut of these pants here and you've got a little crossbody bag going on. I don't also care for the belts. The belts are kind of this like shirred material and shirred leather with a weird clasp I don't I don't really love it but they have it in white black and pink I am going into my Bizance Parure Cristal for um for a touch of inner corner highlight because I love these I love these little duochrome shades 
in the Bizance palettes. I almost wish that what they would have done with these palettes is sort of kept the background but made like these duochrome or sparkly ones just like a single like an ombre premier um single shadow or something because i mean these are nice shadows but they don't really do anything spectacular for you but these are just so special and they go with every look that i've been doing lately and i just love them and i don't know that i'm going to use them up but i feel like it would have been a more practical idea, and I'm saying the word practical a lot. We're talking about Chanel, none of this is practical. Um, it would have been a more useful thing for me to have these as like a single shadow. But that is not what they did. Look number 26 is also a really lovely. Same pants. They've got these cute little clogs going on. Um, those are cute. And this beautiful little jacket. Cute. Look 29 is very snow bunny. Um, I love that jacket and I love the jeans. I want those jeans. I'm not paying $4,000 for a pair of jeans, but I want them. And I think it's funny because the Coco Neige collection, Neige is uh, French for snow, so Coco Snow. And then, you know, if you know the Tom Ford, they always have the Soleil Neige collection, which is like winter sun or sun, sun snow, something roughly translated to like to that, but it basically, <laughs> If you really want to know what neige means in French, it just means really expensive, really expensive. Because with Tom Ford, you are paying $90 for a highlighter. With Coco Neige, you are paying $1,800 for a pair of leggings. I'm not kidding. They have gold and pink leggings in this collection and they're $1,800. And they're tacky. Sorry, they're tacky. There's a lot of pink and gold looks in this collection and I don't like them. I don't, they're not my thing at all. This looks like someone who thinks they have style but really doesn't. And apologies if you love them, but it is it is not for me. I, I am the person that likes this little um, cardigan here, right here, which is this $4,900 cardigan, but it's got this beautiful stitching and uh, this lattice stitching on it and those beautiful silver buttons. So cute. Um, I would wear a shirt under it. Uh, this this model is not, but I would definitely wear a shirt under it. And um, it would just look so comfy cozy. Cashmere and silk, $4,900. Oof, oof. There's some cute things that I like, but they have like motifs that I'm not really into. There's a lot of stars in this collection and I'm not really into stars. I think they look a little bit childish, um, but there are some really cute like ombre sweaters with stars on them. There's this cute little metal belt that says Chanel. It's like little medallions, but then there's little stars in between and like they're almost there for me. They're just a little bit too like just a little too childish for me. And then there's this cute little hat. Oh my gosh, this cute little knit bonnet. And it comes in like four different colors. It comes in the pink and black. It comes in this burgundy and pink, gray and black, and of course, black and white. And I think they do have it in some like more shearling designs on the website too. But it is probably the cheapest thing in this collection because it is $700. And I love the little black and white. It's black with this little white trim on it. And it's got a little CC uh, button at the back. Super cute. You can see it on someone just going downhill on their skis. I don't ski, so that's not gonna be me. I think there's some interesting looks in this collection. And some of it I think is very, you know, very Chanel, very practical at a luxury level but also there's some stuff in there that I'm just like just baffles me because I'm like that is not my style at all first of all I am not a ski bunny at all I don't ski I can barely cross-country ski I get them um, you know crisscrossed I crisscross my ankles all the time and um, will fall down for no reason so I am I'm not a skier it is also a very expensive sport and I don't have skis so I'm never gonna get good at it. Also, downhill skiing terrifies me. I've done it once in my life and no. But I am a big fan of it cuddling up next to a, a big fire in, you know, like a cozy manse in the Alps and um, cozy little, you know, fancy cabin in the Alps, like a, a, a 10 room 
five bathroom cabin in the Alps would be, you know, super fun with a giant roaring fire and a glass of scotch and also a glass of uh, a mug of hot cocoa with marshmallows. Just, just on constant like refill. Someone's just behind me constantly refilling them all. Obviously I love the creams and the beiges and the black and whites. And um, I wish I could get into the gold and the pink. I don't think there's anything wrong with gold and pink. They're just not my colors. And I think with the way that they do the leggings, they just, to me look super tacky. Uh, no, sorry. Um, but you know, you might also think the jeans with the chain detail are super tacky and that's cool. Um, I get you, I understand. I just think it's a fun way of doing a logo without doing a logo. Again, a very small collection, just 35 looks. It's only in select boutiques, so I'm never going to see it in real life. I will just dream about it. And I also think it's fun to just kind of window shop online. You know, online shopping can be problematic and addictive and all that kind of thing. And, um, you know, I can recognize when I'm kind of browsing online a little too much. And that's when I just kind of need to slow my roll. I'm holding back on shopping right now. I'm opting out of a lot of things. Like I said, I opted out on the Beauty and the Beast. I opted out on most of Chanel Holiday. And I need some fantasy in my life. And I just need to keep the fantasy fantasy. So like, I don't need to go and buy all these things, but I can like, in my mind, I can create like a wardrobe of looks. I would style it like this as opposed to this. I would prefer this color as opposed to this color. This trim would be better than that trim. You know, just just thinking about what I would, what I would do if money were no object and I could, you know, be sitting with Virginie Viard as she's creating these collections and giving her my input. And of course, I'm just not that important, but it's nice to believe that I could be. <laughs> but this is what luxury is. It's all sort of fantasy and it's so out of touch and so unreachable and it's just nice to pretend. Okay, so I just went off camera and I did my base makeup and my lashes. So I'm gonna go in and do my bronzer, blush, and powder, and then lips at the end. As per usual, I am using the Golden Leopard from Aguerlain as my bronzer. You can see how much I've really been enjoying this. The pattern is just messed up. If you were wondering, yes, the spots of the leopard do go all the way down and they do mix with the lighter shade eventually, but they are not a spray over. The gold is, but not the spots. And, ooh, I forgot to talk about the bags. We, can, we need to talk about the bags. The bags are, there's, there's not a lot of them, but um, there are a couple of really cute ones. There's nothing that I would like have an immediate need like there's no uh, classic flap or anything like that. Like no styles that I'm just like, oh, I need that. But there are a couple of cute little clutches in here. There is this white little shearling clutch with the chain. Again, I love the chain. It's so cute. And there's one in pink and there's one in white. Obviously I would pick the one in white, um, but this chain detail, it's got these little silver details on it. Um, and this little crisscrossing on it, that's just, it goes with the theme of the, the knitwear. The silken quilted inside, or maybe it's nylon, I don't know. I don't think it's at all practical. <laughs> I think you can probably fit a credit card in there and that's it. Um, maybe not even that. You would just fit like a mini lip balm, maybe. So you can find all these things if you search Coco Neige on the website it'll just bring up not just the looks and the campaign it'll actually just bring up all the products but it is a little bit frustrating to um, find on the website sometimes there is this cute little camera case there's a couple of versions of it where it's in leather and in shearling cute little round case and it's very very adorable they actually do have the short boots with the lower heel with like a pink shearling lining it's ridiculous but if you love pink and black together you will love it there is a bowling bag which i am not really feeling right now there's some moon boots moon boots yes moon boots mm, no mm -mm. 
there's obviously some high boots and patent leather and big old fluffy boots big old fluffy boots in gray and in like this shaggy <laughs> like it looks like a little tribble it looks like a tribble this other cute clutch with chain with it looks like the what the white one except oh what are they called pallets it's those those discs that look like the paco rabalan does and it's this sort of silver mesh and it's got like fives and cc's and stars all over it which again isn't my thing but i think it's super cute and super festive and it's one of the pieces that i picked out i'm like oh i wouldn't mind having that the costume jewelry i'm not a big fan of it's all hearts i'm not a big fan of hearts it's a fun collection i will say that even if i think some of it is tacky it's a super fun fantastic collection um, fantastic in that, you know, very fantasy. And not everything in it is my aesthetic, which not everything has to be my aesthetic. Chanel, like there's a lot of things about Chanel that are my aesthetic or that I base my aesthetic on. And there's a lot that's just like, mm, I don't know about that. Mm -mm. But I think you have that with every brand. Not, not everything they come out with is gonna be absolutely your style and that's okay. But I just wanted to talk about it because I talked about Medier de Arts and um, I really enjoyed that collection, even if I didn't love everything in it. I love the colors, the idea of it, the inspiration, the craftsmanship. And I feel like that with this little capsule collection, I feel like that too. The concept is very she she, very rich, very this is not for you this is only for certain people and uh i don't know i think it just makes it kind of fun like not attainable at all but just kind of fun it just kind of brings the fun back into fashion which is fashion i like when it's fun I really like this look it's cute it's blue i look i really like these colors from the cinderella palette I wasn't so big on like the pinky purpley tones, but I'm just not big on those anyway. So I just really love these, these blue, these princessy blue tones. Still my favorite collection because Cinderella was my favorite Disney princess. Um, so they've already covered <laughs> my bases. Sigma's already covered my bases, but um, if you like, I love the Alice in Wonderland collection because it was so colorful. I love that palette. It's right over there. I might use it next week. And I really, I, I hope at some point I do get to try the Belle palette again. I think I'm going to ask for it for Christmas if it's still around. Um, I don't have an immediate need for it. It's nice. I saw they were doing some sets so you could get like three products and if you bought three products and you could get like 25% off which I thought was kind of nice it's sort of like a build your own bundle because I don't really I'm not really into their lip product I'm more into the brushes the handles those are really cute and I see they have all three collections in stock so if you missed out on any of the older ones you can go back and get them So this is the finished look guys i am going to keep my hair up for now but um yeah this is my my finished look with the, the cinderella palette also the chanel paro cristal the guerlain golden leopard from the holiday collection um i'm wearing a combination of drugstore luxury and mid-range on my face so it's just runs the gamut today and I hope you enjoyed just sitting down with me and doing a little fantasy browse through the Coco Neige collection. Just feeling really out of it. So I hope I'm able to edit this in a way that kind of makes sense, but we'll see. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the time. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Any of those would be welcome and all of them would be deeply, deeply appreciated. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.